right, International Olive Oil Day is today, and the only way to celebrate is to learn more about them and the benefits they have for all of us. And joining us, joining us this morning to talk about the benefits of olive oil is the owner of Stanford Olive Oil and Vinegar, Rick Doyle. Good morning. Thank you so much for Good being morning. here. Oh, great to be here. Great to have you. So let's talk about National Olive Oil Day. Who knew? Who knew? It's a thing. Right? Yeah. Great. Right. There's, <laughs> there's so many great olive oils out there. I mean, from your natural varietal olive oils that come from all over the world. We at Stagecoach Olive Oil in Stanford, Connecticut, we carry over 70 varieties. Wow. So, and so what are the health benefits? Because I feel like a lot of people just put it in the pan, mm -hmm. not really realizing why they're doing it. Yeah, in the old days, you had one olive oil in the cabinet. Nobody really knew if, what it was for. They just knew it was expensive. <laughs> olive oil is a little more expensive than your natural vegetable oils, but there's properties that make it better. Okay, the flavor number one, um, the extra virgin early crush gives you that green herbal flavor, but also the higher biophenol polyphenol counts. Excuse which are the me? An, what did you the, say there? The biophenol huh? and polyphenol, <laughs> those are the antioxidant levels. Uh -huh. And so, what you search for at our store, we give you the levels of the chemistry behind all of the olive oils, and it's listed right on these foosties. Wow. That's these stainless steel containers that we keep the olive oils in. So it'll, it'll tell you what the count is. There's some that are over 500, which are like superfoods. Really? These are cancer curing, Alzheimer's disease, Crohn's, you name it. These things have been proven at the University of California at the Davis campus to, to cure a lot of variable uh, diseases that, that we can get. But now, is that when you cook with it or you just put it on food? You can, or how well, do you if you do start it? with a better quality olive oil, you can cook with it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to add the flavor. It's going to add, you're going to have a better quality olive oil at the end. But if you drizzle it on the top of the foods and eat it raw, of course, you're going to end up, you're going to have those higher biophenol counts. And we have doctors that come in our store that buy these olive oils for the, for the medicinal purposes. Wow. They're just very good for you. Wow. Um, and they taste really good, too. And they taste great. There's blood orange. We have garlic here. We've got uh, Tuscan herb is one of our most popular. Uh, uh, it's got, it's imported from Italy, and a lot of these olive oils, a lot of people think everything comes from Italy, that's the best olive oil. There's olive oils from all over the world, Chile, uh, uh, Portugal, Spain. Uh, we deal with two hemispheres to provide the freshest olive oil that we can get, because um, there's a harvest time in the northern hemisphere, and then six months later, there's a harvest time in the southern hemisphere. So we're going to provide the freshest uh, olive oil possible, plus our producers, the people that grow our olives, they own the mills. So when the olive is picked, this is very important, it's crushed within two or three hours. Wow. Whereas some other olive oil uh, companies and the big box stores, they will pick the olive. It'll sit in a bushel under a tree for two or three weeks. Uh, a week later, a truck comes or whatever and picks it to, and drives it to a mill. And then it's waiting in line at the mill to be crushed. Ours are crushed within two hours. So it, uh, you know, prevents the oxidation process from wow. happening. Well, there's no question. You're very knowledgeable in this. How did you become so passionate about olive oil? I went to my first store in California about 10 years ago. I loved the store. All these varietal olive oils. I mean, it, it was incredible. All the flavors, the fruitiness. Um, and uh, I just started studying it. And I uh, went to the University of California at the Davis campus, which is a big agricultural school. And uh, they have a whole Robert Mondavi wing dedicated just to olive oils. And they grow uh, their olives out there. But it, it's a lot of fun. Once you get into it, you're going to start with maybe a mild olive oil. And they have super intense, robust olive oils that have that strong pepper finish, a little bitter, a little pungency, but, uh, but also good for you, very healthy. Incredible. Now, you can't talk about olive oils without talking about its friend, the vinegar. And I know you guys have a lot of balsamic vinegars. Are Absolutely, there any yeah. health benefits to those? So, yeah, uh, the, all the, the uh, here's a great one the 18 year traditional balsamic. Um, this is aged for 18 years. It's imported from Italy. And a lot of people don't realize that the, the Italians, they own that word balsamic. If you see balsamic in a store, it's from Italy. It's imported. Wow. So, this is imported from Italy, 18 year aged. But we also have a variety of 12 year age, we have 25 year age, and we have the fruit infused. Incredible. And they're infused with delicious fruits like strawberry and raspberry, blueberry. Now you're All making me hungry, right? Yeah. Well, thank Let's you go so get some. Exactly. Thank you so much. <laughs>